Good morning. We are Team Hanguk University of Foreign Studies from Republic of Korea. My name is Yerin Kim. I did data analysis and developed a deep learning based algorithm. This is Dem Kang, who built our formulation based model with optimization tools. This is Mingu John, who is responsible for our technical content. We are all seniors at the Department of Industrial and Management Engineering. It was a great experience to work with the real world problem, so thank you Informs for offering this competition. Thank you Principal for providing the wonderful problem. We appreciate the judges for giving us to, for giving us to, to present our work here. <laughs> Beautiful city Baltimore. Now let's take let's start our presentation. This is what we are going to present today. We highly believe that you already understood the problems. After explaining the problem briefly, our presentation will be focused on the methodology that is filled with our unique ideas. We handled portfolio optimization problem offered from principle. The problem consists of three main parts, which are active weight, Bakubi's formulation, some extensions that reflect the real world. The constraint with red box are tricky constraint because they are non-convex. Each constraint represents cardinality, active share, and tracking error, and it can be reformulated to mixed integer nonlinear programming problem by introducing some binary variables. However, as you can see, the left side of constraint 10 and 11 are still remain, so the continuous realization is not convex. Before building a model, we conducted a preliminary test for estimating the difficulty of the problem. For this test, we used the simplified formulation by excluding those constraints that make the continuous relaxation non-convex. The problem can be solved by branch and bound, so we used CPLEX as an optimization server. In the result, the table shows that gap is really high and tracking error is too low to satisfy the lower bound. So we derived the following three observations. First, since there, there are too many binary decision variables, P1 and P are really hard to solve as they are. Second, tracking error and active chair must be addressed somehow to ensure feasibility. And third, tracking error values must be increased to satisfy the target range. Based on the observation, we could consider the three-step heuristic approach. The main idea is that we fix a set of assets to invest, and then we serve the portfolio optimization with the chosen assets. In step one, we select initial set of assets. This process can replace a cardinality constraint. In step two, we serve a convex relaxation and a feasible solution is found for the tracking error and active share. And finally, step three, we do a local search to find a better solution. From now on, let me introduce our algorithm step by step. In step one, we select 50 to 70 assets to invest. The process of step one is important in determining the overall quality of the solution. So we propose GAN, a, a neural network based algorithm as a method for selecting good initial assets in a short time. GAN stands for Generative Adversarial Networks, which is one of the most popular topics in machine learning these days. Actually, it is widely used for image and voice recognition, and it consists of two neural networks, which are generator and discriminator. We thought this structure could be applied to serve a formulation. So, portfolio optimization. Generator is composed of a general deep neural network, and discriminator is composed of a special neural network, which reflects the mathematical formulation. Generator tries to create portfolio, while discriminator checks whether the created portfolio is feasible or not. 
In our loss function of discriminator, the given formulation is represented like this. First, it checks the feasibility of each constraint. If it is not feasible, the degree of violation is applied to the loss function as follows. To sum up, in general JN, discriminator checks the image is real or fake, but in our case, discriminator checks portfolio is feasible or not. After training, we produce set of assets to invest from the train generator. Let's move on to step two. Under the given set of asset, we found the feasible solution. First, we solved the QCQP problem. Since P2 doesn't, any, doesn't contain any non complex constraint, it can be solved in a short time. After that, we check to see if the value of material share and tracking error are in the range. We know that it is not satisfied in many cases. So, we propose a bisectional search heuristic algorithm to find the feasible solution. As a result of our preliminary test, we observed that the tracking error value was too small. So, in a way to increase the tracking error value, uh, we made the portfolio weight different from the benchmark weight. In this example, uh, the solution was searched by dividing the interval. <coughs> if the feasible solution exists in the range, we search a uh, narrowed range and search again in the rapid section. Otherwise, we search in the right section. With this idea, the constraints for bisectional search were added. And we repeated this process. If it is, the, it is in the given tolerance, it is finished. We have feasible solution in step two. In step three, we improve the solution for a given time. We came up with an idea to improve solution from pivoting operation. For a given set of assets to invest, an asset that lowers the objective value was added, while an asset that raised the objective value was excluded. Uh, during our test, we realized that the invisibility occurs due to constraints six and seven in some cases. Uh, this bar graph shows the sum of the target weight for each sector in MCAPQ. We can see the range of sector in MCAPQ are existed. And our selected asset range of sector and MCAPQ could not be satisfied in some cases. To consider this situation, an asset of our range is entered it, and an asset of within range is wrapped in our local search. So far, it was explanation for the concept of our JN MP hybrid heuristic method. Now, I'll talk about several ideas to improve our algorithm performance. From our, from our result of test, we noticed that GAN influenced by starting condition. So our, so our algorithm could be better if we have various initial set of effect. We could get several good set of effect from multiple GANs. Therefore, using parallel training, we trained many independent GANs. For the initial set of assets from, uh, obtained from uh, each trained JN. And we found the feasible solution in step two. After that, the obtained solution were compared in solution check area. We picked the top half of solutions and executed step three based on this solution. For the remaining solution, we discarded them and initiated step one. After finishing our procedure, the algorithm provides us the best solution. From this point on, I'll talk about our results. The following table is about the experiment environment. We carried out the test to confirm that each step was performing well. First, we executed step one, and then P2 was solved for feasible sets. The bar graph shows that GM found more visible solution than random generating method. This box plot shows that 
the objective values of GAN's feasible solutions are lower than random method. This graph shows the changes of tracking error and active share values during such iteration. Active share value of this red line is consistent, and tracking error value of this blue line has severe fluctuation. But feasible solution could be found through bisectional search at this black scale. In our last step, this graph shows the changes of the objective values. By exchanging operations, we could get better feasible solution. Now, we can say our all steps are working well. The parameter lambda reflects how much return will be considered uh, will be relative to risk. This graph shows the return, shows that return is not affected by parameter lambda values. Because alpha is too small, so even if parameter lambda is 10, return is still small. So we set the parameter lambda to baseline. Next, we want to talk about how we reflect the turnover in our methodology. In GAN, we consider the turnover in the loss function of discriminator like this. In the QGQP formulation, we consider the turnover in the objective function and constraints by introducing decision variables. We set parameter omega to 5 by computational result. We also consider uncertainty to optimize the worst case of alpha. Because we could not find any correlation between the historical parameter from Yao Finance and data given by principal, so we catch the parameter change from principal data and reflect it to the robust optimization. We define set U to consider worst case, and then we re reflect it in our formulation like this. With the proposed algorithm, we derive the monthly result. The following table is the result of first year. Especially, the objective values are consistent. It means that our algorithm is stable for deriving good visible solution. These are the result of whole data. The left one is the result of experiments that does not consider uncertainty at all. The other one is the result of which consider uncertainty as 10% of a set. Although the result with worst case are worse, but considering uncertainty may be less sensitive to the severe fluctuation in the stock market. The information rate of our solution is not good. Uh, the first reason is that the correlation between return in objective function and R in IR is too low. Second, the transition cost seems to be high, but our algorithm can control the importance of turnover values by changing parameter omega. In conclusion, we propose the GAN-MP hybrid heuristic method for non-convex portfolio optimization. Our algorithm has three characteristics. First, the structure has scalability to accommodate large size problem. Second, parallel training of GAN's such a solution wide and deep. In the last, it also consider uncertainty of expected return. So we propose the, we highly recommend to principal that GPU based training and increasing parallelism will give better speed and quality. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please let us know. Thank you.